So we're seeing a lot of artists try these alternative distribution models and the community supported art program is definitely an example of, a, of an alternative distribution model. Community supported pottery is a collaboration of, in this case, four, four ceramic artists who are putting together a very unique, um, unique experience. Um, and what we're really hoping for is to really reach consumers directly and be able to have that kind of direct connection with people. I think that what um, these alternative distribution models do is they allow artists to stay rooted. They can be a successful artist in their hometown um, and, you know, not have to feel like they have to invest thousands of dollars to kickstart their career. We can do that for them through this program. And the connection between food and pottery is there. It would give people another step that they could, they could have a face that they know the person who made their, their cups, their plates, their bowls. The business model is a really great idea because you directly help the person you know, who's like trying to, to sell something, you know, and it helps, it helps the producer and the consumer. Um, as far as artists, the benefit to them is that this then gives them investors, basically, in what yeah. they do. And um, rather than, you know, trying to manage um, their marketing through a mailing list, they're really um, getting their art directly into that person's hand. The benefits to doing these community-supported, like community-supported pottery would be incredible. <laughs>